Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you some tips for using tabs in Safari and other apps on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 750 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So one of the fundamental skills you need to master on your Mac is the use of tabs. That's having multiple windows inside a single window. This started many years ago in browsers and you can certainly do it in Safari where you'll find the most tabs features. But you can also use tabs in other apps as well. So here I am in Safari and to create a new tab there are several different ways I could do it. One is I can go to File and then choose New Tab. And the keyboard shortcut for this is almost always Command T no matter which app you're in. In Safari you also have a plus button here on the right. You can click that to create a new tab. And you can also create a new tab when you click on a link. Now how you do that exactly depends on your settings. So in Safari Preferences if I go there and I look under Tabs I could see here a variety of different options. I have it set to Command Click opens a link in a new tab. But you could set it many different ways. So if I click on this link here it will just go to that link in this tab. But if I Command Click on it you can see it opens up a new tab and now I have two tabs here. In other apps like the Finder you don't have all those options but you still can go to File, New Tab and it's the same Command T there to open up a new tab. And now you can see I have two tabs open. In this case they're both looking at the Documents folder. But if I navigate to Project A in this folder you can see I've got Documents folder in this tab and Project A in this tab. Now in Pages it's a little different. There is no File, New Tab. I can choose New for a new document and that would create a new document in a window. But I'll show you in a minute how to just go and create a new tab in Pages. Now when you don't have a second tab, I'll close this one here, you can see I don't see the tab bar. It only appears when I use Command T or create a new tab some other way. But you could set it to always be there by going to View and then look for Show Tab Bar. And when you have that on it will appear even if there's just one tab. In Finder here it's called something a little different. It's still under the View menu but now it's called Show Tab Bar. And now you can see it comes up even though there's just one tab. And here I get a nice little plus button that I could use to create a new tab. And this is how you can easily create a new tab in Pages. Because here if you go to View and then Show Tab Bar and notice it's in a different location in the View menu here. Then I get the tab bar here even though there's only one document open and I have a handy plus button. I can now click that and create a new document and it will create it in a new tab. Another option in the View menu is to show all tabs. In Safari it appears as Show Tab Overview. And then you get a visual representation of every tab and you can easily switch one by clicking on it, click the X button on any one to close it, or click the big New Tab button to create a new tab. In the Finder it's called View and then Show All Tabs. And you could do the same thing here. And it's even available in Pages. Go to View, Show All Tabs and you'll get the summary here with a new tab button. Now there are many different ways to switch tabs. One of course is simply to click on the tab at the top. But you could also use some keyboard shortcuts. If you go to Window you'll see those. You have Show Next Tab or Control and then the Tab key and Show Previous Tab which is Control Shift and the Tab key. So I could use those to move between the tabs. This also works in other apps but in Safari in addition to that you can also use Command and a Number key to jump to a tab. So Command 1 jumps to the first tab, 2 to the second. Command 9 always jumps to the last tab. Now in all apps you can rearrange tabs by simply clicking and dragging them so you can change the order at which the tabs appear. Safari has an extra option where you can go to Window and then Arrange Tabs By and you can have them sorted by Title or you could have them sorted by the website address. Now you can easily take a tab out of a window. Let me shrink this window a bit here and I can grab this tab and if I drag it out of the window I now have a new window with that tab. You could also use this to move tabs between windows. So now I have two windows here. I could take this tab, move it into this window here. I could also merge all of the windows into one window with tabs by going to Window and then Merge All Windows. And I'll put some all together here in this one window. Now since Safari was the first Mac app to get tabs it still has some more advanced functionality not available in other apps. One of the things it can do is it can duplicate a current 
tab. So I could be at this page here and before I dig down into a subtopic I could go to Window and then Duplicate Tab. Now I have two versions of it. So I can leave this one here at this location. But here I can go and dig down into the site. You can do the same thing by using a shortcut to open a link in a new tab. So here I can do Command Click and now I still am at this page here but over here I'm at the new location. And notice that when I did that it opened up a new tab but it didn't take me to it. That's another thing that you can set in Safari Preferences Tabs. Here I have when a new tab or window opens make it active. Not checked. Now another unique tab function to Safari is to pin tabs. So you can pin tabs one of many ways. You can go to Window and then Pin Tab and then it pins it here on the left. So it shrinks it down to just icon size and puts it here on the left. You could also do that by dragging a tab over to the left and it pins it there. Pin tabs behave a little bit differently. First of all they are available in all Safari windows. So if I had a second Safari window open I would see these new pinned tabs displayed there as well. When you go to a pin tab and you close it using File Close Tab or Command W it still leaves it there. It acts as if it's closed so I go to another tab here. But the pin tab is still present. Also you'll stay here on this pin tab as long as you click on a link that takes you into the same website. But if I go to another website, for instance let me click down here to a link that goes elsewhere, it will open that up in a new tab. The pin tab stays at that site. You could unpin a tab by dragging it out to the right and then easily close it. Now here are a couple bonus tips. One is that most of these functions you can get to by control clicking or using whatever your secondary click is. Two fingers on the trackpad, right clicking on a mouse. Just do that on a tab and you get a lot of these commands here. So in Safari I have the ability to pin a tab, duplicate a tab, close it, move it to a new window or even do those arrangement functions. This works in other apps as well. So I can control click here. I have close tab, close other tabs, move tab to a new window or show all tabs. So I don't necessarily have to go to the View menu and the Window menu to access those. And here's another tip. Go to System Preferences and then go to Dock. And there's one setting here for tabs and that is Prefer Tabs when Opening Documents. Now by default this is set to Full Screen Only. So when you're in Full Screen Mode for an app if you go to Open a New Window it opens a new tab and keeps you in that Full Screen Desktop. You can turn that off completely by going to Manually but you can also turn on Always. Now when you're in an app like the Finder or Pages or whatever and you go to create a new Finder window instead it creates a new tab. If you like using tabs turn this on. It takes a little getting used to even if you like tabs. But once you get used to it you find you have a lot less clutter because you're not always creating new windows. So I hope you found these tips for using tabs on your Mac useful. Thanks for watching. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.